Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, so we're going to start with some channeled messages. We're going to do a couple of oracle cards and then get into the reading, okay? So, Scorpio. Very interesting, because I heard, you know, trial by error. I think that's the, the, the saying, right? Um, I feel that somebody made a very bad decision. They made a very bad decision. Um, I feel like somebody possibly stayed in a connection thinking that they were going to get something out of this connection um and they were in peace over it okay they were they were they were sitting in this connection in peace thinking that you know they were either going to be taken care of financially or that they had found their forever person like someone here had gotten really comfortable in thinking that everything was gonna be all right you know um and i feel that that didn't happen. It didn't work out. Okay. Someone ended up getting kicked to the curb or somebody, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel Scorpio that someone has sorrow in their heart because now they have to look for a new relationship to have that happily ever after with okay so i uh, you know it's kind of going from a place of i thought it was going to be us you know what i'm saying but it's not you know it's not um this could be a representation of you know i guess maybe being in a relationship having financial goals waiting for maybe a settlement to go through or something like that um or we're going to save and once we get to this level of saving we're going to get this and that and I, I feel like you know scorpio someone here you know didn't have to put in the work and they were just waiting for all that abundance to come through and when it did, someone got, you know, kicked to the side or the abundance just never came and someone just got kicked to the side. And now I feel like someone's in the process of looking for someone new. Okay. Someone new to have a life with. So let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Scorpios, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Scorpios, please. We have a new romantic cycle begins and it's time to take action. So Scorpio, I feel like someone here is accepting that this is never going to come back together again. Um, it was a bad decision trusting this person or believing forever in this person. And it's time to look for something new or it's, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're, even if someone here is doing it with a heavy heart, it's time to move on. Okay. Clarity. Yeah, see, it's time to walk away, Scorpio. It's time to just accept, you know, what is. Um, woman holding a coin, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, I feel like someone here... I hate to say it this way. I hate to say it this way, but I have to, you know, go with what I'm feeling. I feel like someone here is looking for someone that is well off financially. I have to say that. I feel like someone here is very interested in having a comfortable future, which is fine. Um, but someone is starting to realize that they're not going to have that with the past person. So they are moving on to look for, you know, someone to take care of them. Okay. Clarity, guidance, love messages and for my Scorpios please we've got intuition and manifestation and loss yeah I feel like you know Scorpio someone's intuition is saying listen this is it it's over you know what I'm saying it, it's it's time to move on it's time to accept my losses this is not coming back into my life um yeah it's not coming back into my life and it's time for me to move on clarity guidance and love messages for Scorpio um, I feel that <sighs> me time takes time in cycles, time to heal and progress. So Scorpio, I got to be honest with you. I feel like you still need time to heal, but lightning came out in the reverse. And I feel like you're in this energy of, even though I need time to heal, if I sit home and cry over this, nothing is going to change for me. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is going to change for me. Um, 
clarity guidance for Scorpio. Clarity guidance for Scorpio, please. We've got hand of cards. Take a chance, risk being strategic, option, options not showing hand in gambling. Yeah, I, I feel like Scorpio, you're stepping, you know, someone here is stepping outside to see what their options are, to see what's out there, okay? We've got be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. And I feel when that happens, I feel when that happens, I feel like when somebody takes that chance and walks out and, uh, you know, to see what's out there, I do see, you know, a new relationship, Scorpio. I do see something with a lot of love and a lot of abundance. Um, I feel here that with healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier, passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally and having fun. Uh, Scorpio, I feel like you're going to meet someone that's actually a healthier choice than this past person. There's going to be a lot of love, uh, a lot of um, passion here. I feel like with acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment, um, I feel like you're breaking the pattern. Maybe this person, the past person, like, you know, the way they just left you and abandoned you. Um, with boat here, you're moving on from that. You're you're progressing. You're, you're, you're you know, gaining that closure and moving on, and you're moving to towards unconditional love, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. So, you know, Scorpio, it may have seemed really bad when it was happening, but it's actually for your greater good. Um, tell me about Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirit, you guys. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Oh, okay. A lot of cards here. All right. We've got very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. And then we've got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, I feel like you're going to make a choice to put yourself out there. And I feel like you're going to find yourself in a high level of commitment actually very quickly. Very quickly. Okay. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for Scorpio, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Ooh, okay. All right, so we've got the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I'm sorry. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, which I find interesting because we had woman holding a coin there. So, um, and then we've got sun, Leo energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. I like this. Okay, two of cups and the page of pentacles with the king of pentacles under the deck. Damn, Scorpio. Okay, so guys, you are about to find the one. You're about to find your perfect counterpart here, okay? Um, I feel like you're about to find someone that makes you very happy. You're going to feel the soul tie connection between you and this person immediately. Um, you guys might have a child together, or this person may have a child. You may start talking as friends, but I feel like there's a very strong tie between you and this person. I do see, I mean, the uh, king and queen of pentacles is um, uh, you know, a power couple financially. We've got the death card, Scorpionic energy. This person, when you meet them, Scorpio, they're going to change the game. Tell me about the sun card here for Scorpio. Three of wands. They're everything that you're looking for. Like you never thought you would, you know, you were over here so depressed, so depressed thinking that you are never going to find what you're looking for. You take that leap of faith. You're like, finally, this is over. I realize it's over. Let me take that leap of faith. And boom, you find you know, everything you were looking for. Tell me about the Two of Cups for Scorpio. Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Um, I feel like you guys have a lot of um, flirtatious, passionate, emotional energy. And there's also a lot of uh, goals that you guys share. I want to work on this. I want to work on that. I want to achieve this. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. And and you love that Scorpio Aquarian energy. You love that this person is willing to work with you that wants to work with you. You know what I'm saying? You love that this is somebody that is a teammate and you can, you know, achieve those long term goals with this person. Clarity, guidance and love messages for Scorpio, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Scorpio, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Scorpio, please. Clarity, guidance. Okay. 
Ooh, okay. So we've got uh, temperance here. Okay, Sagittarian energy. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. We've got the Tower, Aries Scorpionic energy. And we have the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Scorpio, here's what's funny. I feel like this is the side of the person that you know things truly ended, okay? I feel like this person is, um, you know, just patiently sitting there being greedy, not, you know, talking to you, not giving you the time of day, not doing anything. Um, I feel like this person, you know, with the two of wands, um, they maybe thought that at some point in the future there would be reconciliation, but they wanted to make you suffer during this time. And I feel like this person is about to get the shock of their life. Okay, I feel like this person is about to, you are about to give the, this person a shock of their life. Because with the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant here and the Justice card with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, this is the ex coming back around wanting to see if you want to work things out. But with the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups, you're about to tell this person, no, I've emotionally disconnected. I don't give a shit about you no more. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care anymore. And I feel like it's going to confuse this past person. Like, wait a minute. I thought you wanted me. You know what I'm saying? I thought you wanted me. Um, I feel like this person, this past person manifested abandonment. And with the five of cups here, they're going to regret it because this person played games. They left someone out in the cold for too long. They played too many games and they ended up manifesting abandonment on their end, Scorpio, because you are in a happy relationship here. Uh, Ace of cups, 10 of cups, you're living happily ever after here. And Someone is going to be crazy jealous over this new beginning. They're going to be like insanely jealous over this new beginning, Scorpio. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, someone thought this was just a game where they can make someone suffer, kick someone out of the house, not give them money, not, you know what I'm saying? Like if you were relying on this person for financial support or something, you know, I, I feel like this person thought that a break would be the right idea. They thought that whatever they're doing, what they were doing, was right yeah you see with the four of pentacles the five of pentacles and the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy this person they thought that they were making the right choice because they left you out in the cold and you were very kind to them you were very like you were coming in trying to apologize trying to be sweet trying to fix this and guys this could be you know, vice versa. I don't know, take it as it resonates. But someone here was pretty much begging and pleading and trying to, you know, bring it back together. But see, karma hits here. When you act this way, karma hits. So instead of this person taking that opportunity and fixing the connection, they fed their ego by just watching somebody bet. Tell me about the two of wands. And so finally, distance is here now. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, yeah, they haven't heard from you for days. Do you understand? Two of, of, of wands could be a representation of distance. And the times where you communicate with this person are less and less and less. Tell me about the tower here five of wands in the reverse it's hitting them that you're no longer fighting for this connection that you have given up slipped away to go have a new beginning do you see what I'm saying? Um, you're just, you're out. You understand? Uh, the secret is coming out that they're about to find out that you're happy. You've emotionally disconnected, walked away, went towards a third party. Somebody that actually wants to be with you, has passion for you. Um, I feel like someone here is going to pay for this selfish energy. Someone here, the, the tables are going to turn on the person that's being selfish here. Tell me about the challenge here, please, for Scorpio. Yeah, we've got the King of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy, and the Ace of Swords. Um, the challenge is going to be that someone here is about to find out the truth. Uh, they're going to come in wanting to work things out. And they're, they're coming in very confident that they can work things out with you. And they're about to get hit hardcore with like, whoa, what? I'm already in another relationship. I, you know, tell me about the outcome here for Scorpio. The outcome for Scorpio, please. 
We've got the Nine of Swords. We've got the Three of Swords. Oh, and we've got the Five of Swords in the reverse. Someone here, it's going to hit them. Someone's not coming back anymore. Yep. So it's going to, someone here is about to suffer some real serious heartache because these games are going to backfire. So whatever game someone's playing here, it's going to backfire. Someone here is about to get seriously knocked down with the realization that someone's not coming back anymore. Yep, someone here is moving on and leaving this behind, okay? So I don't know who needs to hear that, but you've been warned. I love you guys. Bye.